Now we will go through the other pathway of arachidonic acid metabolism, which produces leukotrienes. Icosanoid production starts from the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane, where phospholipase A2 catalyzes the release of arachidonic acid from the phospholipid molecules. This 20-carbon polyunsaturated fatty is the main source for all biological icosanoids. Arachidonic acid can be engaged in either prostaglandins and prostacyclin or leukotriene production pathways, which are started by the action of 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce intermediate 5-HPETE, which is further modified by the same 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce leukotriene A4. LTA4 gives rise to either LTB4, LTC4, LTD4 or LTDE4. Then these leukotrienes bind to the cellular receptors to induce various biological effects. Note that the number 4 in all leukotrienes refers to the number of double bonds in the main scaffolding of leukotriene molecules. Indeed, leukotrienes play a wide range of biological roles. They are important inflammatory mediators as they enhance inflammatory neutrophil recruitment and extravasation and increase vascular leakage. Additionally, they play negative roles in bronchial asthma as they induce bronchoconstriction and stimulate mucus production and accumulation in respiratory pathways. Going to leukotriene pathways, you'll notice that the drug Zoluton interferes with 5-lipooxygenase enzyme, thus inhibiting the production of all inflammatory leukotrienes. Finally, Zephylucus and Montelukast drugs are selective competitive inhibitors of leukotrienes C4, D4 and E4 receptors. This video was narrated by Alexandra Daniela, King's College London, KCL University.